Birds for Park Run over here, please. Hey guys, I'm Aaron. Neil, two laps. We go down there, we go under the bridge, then we go out paddock round there, around the cows. We come back, we come up around the soccer ground, around the soccer ground, back down there, and we turn around and then we go again. That was a very, very quick version, but there is a map here. I guess if you don't know what you're doing, just don't be in first place. I mean, just follow the people. That's probably, if you think you're going to be in first, have a proper look at this. Okay! Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to the official first park run for the Sanford Parkland. <laughs> We gather in the lands of the Yogara Nation by the Dinabara Kabi Kabi and Waka Waka people have stood here well before us. This was a thoroughfare, a place where people gathered to tell stories and to move through and to connect. And Park Run, it's fitting, is here today. So we honour and acknowledge the traditional owners of this land. We pay our respects to elders past, present and those that will come again in front of us. We have a story of Park Run that started nearly 20 years ago in the UK with a guy that loved to run. And when he couldn't run due to an injury, he set up a little 5k run on condition that he had coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds a lot like some of the other runners I know. Now, if you are a first time at a park run, welcome. I am one ahead of you. I've done one park run up at Ocean View. If you've been to Ocean View, it's a bit hilly. <laughs> yes. The beauty of park run is though, that this is a place for you. No matter whether you want to run, whether you want to jog, whether you want to walk, whether you want to volunteer or whether you just want to cheer, there is a place for you. Sanford is a place of welcome and we'll do that today. Now, our volunteer team is largely pretty new to park run, so I'm going to ask you to be especially kind to us today. It's taken more than 18 months to figure out 5Ks and get us across the line. You'd think we had a lot of land and we do out here but you've got to not cross a road or a driveway and that's a little trickier, <laughs> but we've got it. So I just want to start by acknowledging the foundation sponsors. Every park run needs to raise seven and a half grand to get a tick. We also have to come up with a group of people prepared to run it each week. We had to get both. And in some cases, the foundation sponsors are also volunteering each week. Can I acknowledge Carl and his family from KBO Electrical? Carl's over here with his hat on. If you need your paint, uh, house painted, grab it. Lee, who's Lisa from Bell Property. God, they love to sell your house Junction that's a CrossFit and functional gym. And if you see, thank you, Kylie and Sam. If you see Leanne and you think you're about my age, if you're a woman looking for a bit more strength, if you want to be a bit more mobile, then Leanne's specialty at your body by design is helping you do just that. So thank you, Leanne. You'll see her in a knee break. And finally, do you remember the rule of the guy that started Park Run 20 odd years ago? You had to have coffee, and you do. So the Long Yard Ladder, Cliff and Julie for the Long Yard Ladder. After this park run, you'll head back into the village and you'll find them on Station Street opposite John Scott Park to grab your coffee. Um, ladies and gentlemen, park run is a great spirit of celebration every week. We celebrate milestones and we celebrate first times. Milestones as you've hit, oh, there's my youngest son. Hey, Will. Um, sorry. 
you know what it takes for a teenage boy to decide he's going to be up at this time of Right, it's all about cadence. So we're going to acknowledge Jane and anyone else who's celebrating a milestone today with a three, two, one. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh, look, we are off the line. I don't ruin your actual proper briefing. We can probably give a little bit more of a hand clap. I just think Trisha needs to be acknowledged. 18 months to bring this to light. Um, the amount of work behind the scenes, phenomenal. And the way that Trisha's done it, makes us proud to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's talk park run. We start and finish by the grassy bowls. We always brief on the grassy knoll. Yeah? There's two laps. 2.5 k's. We're going to go out under the bridge from the grassy bowls. We're going to pop up over that side and you're going to hit grass. You're going to hit a paddock. You're going to travel along the South Pine River until you hit two trees and you're going to turn. You're going to come back out of two trees and we're going to run the soccer around. You'll see the marshals, it's the soccer speedway, it's paved. For those that like a bit of pace, this is you. Then you're going to round back, come back under the bridge and you're going to turn around a pole. Look, Kim, do a couple of whips, one lap. 